All right, so today we're going to demonstrate the power of the sodium hydroxide cleaning and degreasing solution. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on our hypochlorous acid disinfectant, but we wanted to use this as a demonstration to highlight the other product that gets produced by the electrochemical um, process. So to demonstrate that, we have some pure sesame oil. Uh, it's very oily, very viscous. We have some WD-40. Now, most people know that oil and water do not mix. So I'm going to introduce some water to both of these. And you can see what happens. Oil and water do not mix. But when we introduce the sodium hydroxide product into the equation, watch what happens. An instant saponification. In saponification, uh, the details of that will be listed in the description, but basically more or less, it turns the oil into a soap. It's an exothermic reaction that basically converts the fatty acids that are in these products into their own soap. So it doesn't leave a residue to attract dirt and germs later. It actually turns itself into a self-surfactant. Okay, so based upon that demonstration, I did want to highlight the fact that this product is not designed to do things like petroleum-based oils, so you're not going to be able to clean like an engine block or to use this in like an automotive type um, application, but it's fantastic for kitchens, it's fantastic for carpet pre-spotting, anything that people touch that has oils in their skin that's going to leave that residue on a surface, this product is really great for.